Hey guys and gals uh, and Symphonic Tuba website. Uh, I want to say thanks for all the uh, words of encouragement and support. Uh, I've been doing this project as a way just to keep myself honest uh, because of the fact that uh, I'm not surrounded with great tuba players all the time. Um, so anyway, this is going to be the second installment in uh, something I'm calling the Drill of the Week. Uh, basically, when I have the time to get in front of the computer for an hour or so and warm up, I will share with you guys what I do um, and post it up on YouTube. Hope it helps. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about stuff like this and if I have a set warm up. I'll say this about my warm up routine. I do one every day. It's always very thorough and it's never the same thing twice. Um, so it's not rote repetition so much as it is uh, a daily bug hunt to find out what's wrong with my chops today and how I can fix them. So anyway, uh, I've also decided that I'm going to do most of my talking now so I can ride the mic and then I will edit this. But when I edit the following clips, it's not for mistakes. It's just to make it shorter so it's not such a long video. Uh, smaller, more digestible snippets and I'll cut out all of my spit dumping and all that jazz. So this one is called uh, peanut butter. Um, I'm going to come up with witty names. Anyway, I call this peanut butter. Any of my students that have heard me talk about long tone studies know that um, my theory of long tones is that you're wanting to take the most beautiful sound you can make on any given note and imagine it as a big blob of peanut butter. For, you, for those of you with peanut allergies, substitute your favorite spreadable substance, whatever. Uh, for me, it's peanut butter. And I take that big blob of peanut butter and I stick it in the middle of a big piece of bread. And then I like to spread it all over all the edges of the, of the bread. I don't like to have any bread poking through. I want to see peanut butter smoothly and evenly spread over that whole piece of bread. That's the way I think of long tones. I think of my tone as this blob of peanut butter and I use a reference tone that I know I can get a good sound on and slowly spread it in increasing intervals outwards to the extremes. I try and start in a comfortable register where I know I'm going to get a good sound on the note that I'm using as a reference tone and then spread it outwards. Eventually these skips become very wide. As you'll see uh, close to the end it goes extremely high and extremely low and you'll notice that as my reference tone I don't start in the extreme high or extreme low register if that's where I'm going to end up because I don't want to feel like I'm using excessive mouthpiece pressure and locking my chops into a setting, so to speak. But I'm really focusing on using a lot of air, hearing the tone in my head and hearing the pitch that I'm trying to buzz, letting the mouthpiece float around my chops so that I can find a place where naturally my body's going to make the best sound that I'm capable of making with my chops, my mouthpiece, my setup, my horn. Um, I really find these very effective. It keeps me from getting into a sense of feeling like it's difficult to shift registers at will. Uh, and I, I see this a lot with uh, younger students. They really get locked into a, a high setting or a low setting or a mid-range setting. And, and consequently, they have really no flexibility or ability to negotiate or navigate the various registers that we as tuba players are called uh, upon to uh, be in control of. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. This is Peanut Butter Long Tone Studies. Thank mm -hmm. you.
One, go. <laughs> One, 
Mm-hmm.